Hello everyone, I'm in Taos, New Mexico, and today I'm flying on the Donier 328 jet. In the late 1990s, German aerospace manufacturer Donier, which later became Fairchild Donier, re-engined the 328 from turboprop to turbofan to compete in the regional jet market. Designated as the Donier 328 jet, the prototype aircraft made its first flight in 1998. The aircraft can seat up to 32 passengers, though 30 seats is typical. Crew consists of two pilots and one flight attendant. The modern glass cockpit is equipped with Honeywell Primus 2000 avionics. Production of the 328 jet ended in 2002 with just 111 aircraft produced. 30 aircraft remain in active service today, with 17 of that registered in the United States. Taos Air has a fleet of two aircraft operated by Advance Air. The airline flies from Dallas, Austin, Hawthorne, and Carlsbad to promote tourism in Taos. Taos Air flights operate from private terminals, except at Carlsbad. At Dallas Love Field, Taos operates out of signature flight support on the northeast side of the airport, opposite the airline terminal. I got to Signature just in time to see my inbound flight arrive from Taos. After arrival, the do-it-all flight crew checked in my flight. The lone flight attendant checked in the passengers, issued boarding passes, and weighed all bags. The co-pilot gathered checked bags and rolled them onto the aircraft. Too bad the boarding pass was reusable and I could not keep it. As soon as everyone checked in, we boarded the plane as a group. There were 18 passengers on my flight on this Friday. Once on board is open seating. I love this colorful propeller design on the headrest cover and bulkhead. It looks like something playful from an IKEA catalog. Please follow along by using the passenger safety information card located in the seat pocket in front of you. All seat belts should be securely fastened at this time. To do so, insert the flat metal. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Before we depart, we would like to familiarize you with some important safety features of the Dornier 328 aircraft. Pull on the top strap, and to release, simply lift up on the top portion of the buckle. The Dornier is equipped with four emergency exits. The main cabin door through which you entered, the aft galley service door, and two window exits located at rows 1D, 1F, and 9A. Please take a moment to look around and identify the emergency exits closest to you. However, if there is a change in cabin pressure, oxygen masks will fall from a compartment directly above your seat. When this happens, take the mask closer to you. Going to the fullest extent of the clear seat, start the flow of oxygen. Place the gold cup over the nose and mouth and continue to breathe normally. There is a wide elastic band to hold the mask in place. If you are traveling with small children, secure your mask first. Hear oral instructions. Physically open the exit and direct others to the exit. They must be able to accomplish these tasks without injuring themselves, obstructing the exit, or being... After a quick rotation from runway 13 left, we banked over downtown Dallas and we headed northwest towards New Mexico. Onboard service consists of free drinks, including free alcohol, and a wide selection of free snacks. Talzir partners with local companies, so appropriately, I had to try the Tal's Bakes bars. It was quite delicious. Despite working the cabin by herself, flight attendant Kimberly provided attentive and courteous service. Throughout the day, even while cruising at 34,000 feet, we had occasional chops as we flew in and out of clouds or right along cloud tops. Just an hour after departure, we started our descent to Taos. Avoiding thunderstorms in the area, we made a securitous approach to runway 31. It was bumpy. Talking to the captain after the flight, with the wind at 090 degrees, it was a typical mountain flying crosswind landing.
over the Rio Grande, the landing gears lowered with a disconcerting thump. Turning base with town of Taos to my right, we made a short final to runway 31. I did not realize this, but Taos has a high elevation. The airport is at 7,091 feet, or 2,161 meters above sea level. Gentlemen, welcome to Taos, New Mexico. And if this is home, welcome back home. Designated smoking area. Once the plane comes to a full complete stop, I will let the pilots off first. And then we can begin the deplaning process. every one of you and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Taos Airport is small but relaxed. The terminal building, while not architecturally impressive from the outside, the interior is quite stylish in the ski lodge theme. The ground crew delivered everyone's check bag and ensured everybody had a ride to wherever they needed to go. I was quite impressed with the personal service. The terminal offered free Wi-Fi, but there were no other amenities such as a restaurant. There was a dedicated ground staff, however. You can step outside and get fresh air 
and get a nice unobstructed view of the Donier while listening to its APU whine. After checking in and getting my bag weighed again, the eight passengers were ready to step on board for Hawthorne. The same crew would continue on with the flight, as with three of us passengers that started in Dallas. This time, I chose a seat on the A side. There was ample room for my foot next to the cabin wall, much less constricted than an Embraer 145. With just eight passengers, the door quickly closed and the engines immediately started thereafter. to the Rio Grande for the first 50 miles or so, we once again climbed to our cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. snack basket has now been replenished with Taos Bakes Cosmo Nuts. The cilantro lime pistachio I chose tasted rather unique. Flight attendant Kimberly then returned with Ben and Jerry's ice cream, which was a pleasant surprise. It was a delicious highlight to my day.
the business end, the laboratory did not have running water, so it smelled like a porta potty. Hand sanitizers and wipes were provided, however. Crossing San Gorgonio Mountains and Big Bear Lake, we descended into the LA Basin. Once again, lowering of the landing gears startled me. Welcome to Hawthorne, California, and if this is home, welcome back home. Please remember.
Hawthorne is Advance Air's home base. Jet Center Los Angeles and Surf Air are both also operated by Advance Air. I had a great experience flying on Taos Air and checking off the rare Donier 328 jet off my list. Advance Air ran a top-notch operation and I was quite impressed with the professionalism of the entire flight crew. Taos Air certainly makes its namesake town and compelling destination for skiers and outdoor enthusiasts.